In McIntyre Lawn Chopper 4, Mason, it looks like a bad one. Well, uh, Northwest 122nd in Pennsylvania, just to the northwest, the northwest corner. We do have flames coming through the roof. This is an apartment complex. Uh, heavy smoke uh, in the area, so if you're seeing smoke, this is where it's coming from. Now, firefighters are getting on the roof right now and uh, going to cut a hole in the roof. I see three firefighters on the roof just south of, of the flames that you're looking at. I imagine they're going to cut a hole in the roof. They, I believe they are fighting it from inside also. Uh, so we don't know how this started or, or if anybody is at home. I don't see anybody running around. So the winds are about 15 out of the south uh, to the north. As you can see, the firefighters on the roof, they're about to cut, about to cut a hole in the roof. And uh, like I said, we already have flames coming through the roof. So we'll stay on top of it. If any, uh, any more updates, we'll, we'll keep you posted from McIntyre Law. Chopper 4, back to you. Mason, Mason, it looks like maybe they've already cut a hole there in the roof and letting that vent out a little bit. But uh, I know that these fire, these uh, apartment complexes always have a firewall of some sort, unless they're just a standalone unit uh, that's not so big that it needs a firewall. Well, the fire you're seeing right now, it, it appears, is in between two firewalls. So it's right in the middle. Uh, a lot less smoke right now. So hopefully they're going to... If they just vented the roof, they're fighting it from inside, getting water on it. You can see the smoke and the water coming up through the roof right there. So, uh, like I say, we don't know how it started. I always think about the pets in this situation, if there's any pets inside. But uh, we'll keep you updated with that. Kent? Okay, Mason. Appreciate that. Mason Dunn and McIntyre Law Chopper 4 at 122nd and Penn. We'll have an update, of course, from firefighters uh, coming up today at noon in our noon newscast.